Ozempic and Wagovi are prescription drugs that decrease appetite, so much so that it makes it nearly impossible to overeat. So of course, if you go from eating a plate full of food that's this big to one that's only this big, you're gonna lose weight, and a lot of weight. And the, the bonus of that for people with type 2 diabetes is that it helps to control insulin and blood sugar levels. So these drugs can be really great for people with type 2 diabetes. How does it work? Well, these medications mimic a hormone called GLP-1. And that is a hormone that our bodies make in response to eating food. So it tells our body to stop eating. The difference between the GLP-1 the, that the body makes is that it stays in the system for only minutes, whereas the GLP-1 in Ozempic will stay in the blood for days. So of course it has a dramatic effect on the appetite. The problem is that when you go off of the medication, you gain the weight back, your appetite comes back and there you go. So um, unless you're wanting to make a lifetime commitment of taking this medication, which includes an injection often, um, you know, you may not want to, to do that for a lifetime. These are new medications and we don't know for sure the side effects of them. So what if there were a food that would do what Ozempic does? Now, there is one and it's called fiber. And if you watch the Smart Eating Show, you already know this because fiber is the wonder drug for both diabetes and weight management. And part of what fiber does is it triggers the slow release of the GLP-1 and also another hunger hormone called PYY. And both of them suppress the appetite and uh, suppress hunger and increase satiety. So you can maybe go longer in between meals and without snacking. Now, not all fibers do this in the same way, but those that are most effective would be the grains and the legumes. So, uh, and they work the best if you switch out your white carb for these. So for example, you're having uh, a whole grain bread instead of white bread, or you're having oats or muesli in the morning instead of cornflakes, or maybe you're having black beans in your burrito bowl instead of white rice. And a cool thing is that even if you don't restrict your calories, but you eat a high fiber diet, you, you, you work towards weight loss and lower body fat. So listen, losing weight on Ozempic is easy, but if you want to lose weight and keep it off, a plant-based high fiber diet is the way to go. And that is smart eating.